No one comes back fully from an ACL injury. That's what everyone tells me. So definitely, no one comes back from two ACL injuries. Everybody said my career was over, that I would never play again, that I won't be able to kick the ball again. They said that I would never be the same again. Then I heard the voices of my wife and kids. They wanted me to be on the field. They kept asking me when I would be on the field again. For them, I made myself a promise. I don't want just to be a back to my best again. I want to be better. Better than my best. I ignored my critics and I took their words as motivation instead. Motivation to work even harder. Every single day, from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., I was in the gym. In the morning, I was doing knee rehab, then lunch, power nap. 2 p.m., continued with upper body workout and ended it with icing and stretching. Monday to Saturday, for about a year. To be even stronger than I ever was, I needed to go further. I met a nutritionist, a sports psychologist, and doctors. I also did my own research and learned much more about nutrition and sports science in order to make my comeback. To change my story, I had to change my life. I prioritized sleep, rest, yoga, strength and conditioning work. Before my ACL, I didn't care about watching my diet. But now, I make sure I eat good, healthy and proper food. I was becoming physically and mentally stronger. But things got harder. In 2013, I finally got back to the field. My performance was bad. I considered a lot of goals. I was rusty due to the long layoff and being out of action for so long. My critics were having the last laugh. So what did I do? I do what I always do. I put my head down and got back to work. My newfound knowledge and wisdom gave me the mental strength to keep going. I continued to learn new things. I repeated the same recovery training again and again. My family was watching and waiting, so I kept going. The hard work finally paid off. In 2014, I won the league with Warriors FC. I won the player of the year in the S League. I even got an offer to play overseas in Thailand for Army United for two years. In 2015, I was voted goalkeeper of the year by Goal Thailand. And then, while playing for Home United, I had an unfortunate accident. I had a head collision with a player from the opponent. I broke my nose. Was in a concussion for around 2 to 3 hours. The doctor said I would be out for at least 3 months. So what did I do about it? I did nothing different. What happens to you doesn't define you. It's what you do that defines you. My name is Hassan Sani. My question to you is, what would you do?